Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and now look at the Northeast. There's an end of week storm for the Northeast, but first I want to look at the West. We've got an Arctic front dropping south out of Canada into Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. And this is where it's coming from. So this is Canada. This is Revelstoke. They're reporting several inches of new snow up there in the last 24 hours. I mean, you can see just an absolutely gorgeous view. Where's the front now? Well, it's dropping down into Big Sky. And here it is, snowing in Big Sky. This will be the case in the parts of Idaho, into um, Wyoming, and then into Colorado, and then down into New Mexico. But a beautiful view right there. You can see some of their cameras as well, snowing all the way down towards the 8800 webcam right there. So awesome stuff. Um, here's the uh, latest infrared satellite. And so the pattern is kind of like this, bringing all this action. And there's a little bit of a dip right here, a little tiny ridge. And then there's a, a drop and a big trough out to the east. So, let me just point out where the front, the Arctic front is, and it's basically right in here. So it is going to be barreling to the south. And it's basically going to drop right down the spine from Montana to Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. And this is where most of the action is going to be with this until it gets into the heartland. Then we're going to have an ice storm in the middle section of the country, followed by what will be some snow for the northeast by the end of the week. So that's the pattern. You know, this is a good time to look at the snowpack as well because it has been such a meager month of January across parts of the West. I mean, after an incredible de late December and early January, the month was really quiet. You can see the numbers now have really dropped. Look at California. We're once at 130, now at 104 in Tahoe. Once at 115 to 120 over parts of the Wasatch now, dropping to 100 or below. These are percents of normal. Look at Colorado. At one point, we were in the 130, 140, almost 150 range percentages. Now all the numbers have come down. So this and this Arctic front will mainly benefit Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. But we're not talking about an extended period of snow or even gigantic amounts. Um, what we need is a larger pattern change for the West to help replenish this. I just don't see it coming. I mean, maybe after the 14th of February, but it's just not in the cards at this point. So let me show you, show you what the GFS is thinking right here. American model. This is the, uh, the 12Z uh, run of this thing. And uh, move this into Tuesday morning. Um, so Tuesday morning, you can see some of the light blue shadings, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado and then it begins to spin up a low in New Mexico. And by Wednesday morning, we're in the snow in Colorado, in the snow. There's gonna be heavier totals in Southern Colorado in Northern New Mexico than probably anywhere else. Probably a foot to maybe two feet in some of those locations. And then look at the ice storm taking shape in the heartland. Look at that in Oklahoma, uh, Missouri, Arkansas. Um, here's Thursday morning. This is the 3rd of February. Snow through Ohio and then some ice. Look at the snow up in the, uh, the Northeast. So it would basically go from potentially an ice event to all snow in the northeast, and then that low moves away. So let me show you Saturday morning. This is Saturday morning. Another tiny little area of snow coming through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. But it is so small. It's in and it's out. Um, so here's Monday morning. This is the 7th of February, another storm for the Northeast. So that's where a lot of the action is ending up in the forecast. All right, here are my totals. We'll do these in two phases. So all of today through the 3rd. So this is basically the Arctic front. 3 to 6 in Wyoming and Montana and some parts of Idaho. Much lighter, though. I don't have anything for Sun Valley. Um, it may be an inch over the Wasatch, but it's so small. Uh, in Colorado, kind of a 4 to 8 over I-70 North, and then potentially 6 to 12 in the southern mountains, maybe even a couple of feet down over Wolf Creek, down to Tahoe. Let's look at Ski Santa Fe and Angel Fire. My goodness. Ski, northern New Mexico, southern Colorado, Wednesday, Thursday. That is going to be the spot. Um, so that's phase one. Let me show you phase two. This is the fourth of February through the 9th, and the numbers are much lighter through Colorado, Wyoming, and so forth. The bigger numbers are up in the Pacific Northwest, up into BC. So that runs through the 9th. Let me show you my numbers for the Northeast. This runs through the 6th, and this would take into account that this end of week storm system for Thursday and Friday. Um, so you can see the numbers are biggest as you go into northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine, where potentially it's an all snow event. 
The reason the numbers are lower, dramatically lower, is there may be some mixing through Killington, Okemo, Magic, Mount Snow, and Ragged. There may be some mixing. That is yet to be seen, but that is a possible outcome. All right, so there you go. Enjoy it. Some good snow for parts of the Intermountain West and parts of the Northeast. Take care.